this right here created this. These are super, super cheap pins. You can find these anywhere. You can find them on the floor uh, at your school. You can find them in Walmart. They're super cheap. Does the price of the tool determine the quality of your artwork? The flat out answer is no. No matter how much you spend on drawing tools or any type of medium, that does not determine the outcome of your artwork. To be fair, there are some tools that are like better than other tools honestly but that really doesn't matter at the end of the day what really matters is your technical skills my hyper realistic portraits are just amazing to me to you maybe maybe not but when i show other people my artwork they're just blown away and they can't believe i drew this and then they can't believe it even more that i tell them i drew with ballpoint pen yes this cheap thing right here you probably heard before that this art material makes amazing portraits or amazing drawings. And this is something that I feel like all of us artists go through. We grow up, we hear this, uh, even with Copic markers. Copic markers can be pricey. <laughs> I have a few of them that I haven't even touched yet and I don't even plan on using them because I honestly don't need to draw with them. And that's just an example of some of the tools or drawing utensils you might have in your art box or wherever you keep them you might not even need them or they might not even suit your needs personally. So just because it's name brand like Copic markers or even with these big pens, like you don't really need the name brands. I think if it works for you, it works for you. It just so happened that I started with these type of pens and then I mastered these pens. It's not that I need these to create amazing portraits. I encourage you to go out and try different mediums, try different tools, see what works best for you. If it's a $20 pencil versus a $2 pencil, just find out which one you like better and then go with that material. For me, this pen is amazing. Uh, this is not sponsored or anything because they, I think Big needs to give me a sponsor deal or some type of partnership because of the portions I make with their materials but I don't need this pen. I don't need really any type of name brand pen. I get these because they're very cheap. They cost like $5 at most for like a whole box of them. You can find these pens and packages at like CVS, Walgreens, wherever you shop. I just wanted a tool that I can really hone in on my technical skills and that will allow me to do that. Finding the tool that allows you to create masterpieces is what you need to do. I don't care if your friend teacher tells you, you need this material to create something like this. That's not true. Even with oil painting, you don't need the best of the best oil paints to create the best of the best oil paintings. I remember my first art class in college, we were given a list of art materials that we need for my painting class. So what did I do? I went over to the art store, asked one of the workers if you can help me, you know, find these products for me. And it was about 20 items, I believe. It was paints, uh, paint brushes, and some other small tools. And when we got to the cash register, the person said, your total is $600. My jaw dropped. And I told him, you know what? I don't need any of this. So I went back to my dorm. I figured out what I really needed and where can I get paint materials that don't really cost that much. So that's what I did. I went back, got the art materials I needed, and the total was about $60, $70 for everything I needed. And honestly, I didn't even use half that stuff in my class. So just know that these expensive, pricey art materials that you might come across, you might not need them. And especially if you're a beginner, you don't really need that. But if you want it, that's fine. If that's something that you can fit in your budget, do it, why not? You know, if you feel like this is something you're gonna stick with, I just don't want you to go overboard or over your means just because of someone that said that this material can make this or, you know, these false claims about art tools. I'll be honest with you. When I first started using this pen right here, I really wasn't the best at drawing, especially portraits. Uh, my portraits weren't the best. They weren't even decent in my opinion. I just felt like I can always do better and I can always get better. So I decided to start using different techniques, especially the cross hatching technique, but now more so hatching technique. I will create a video going over hatching technique, you know, hatching one-on-one -on -one for beginners, 
but right now it's just the repetition of lines right next to each other in one direction and this has brought my portraits to another level when it comes to hyper realism art this technique can be super powerful and not just with ballpoint pen like this i use it in graphite uh, i use it in other materials like color pencil as well and you know what speaking of the hatching technique in using straight lines i was on youtube the other day and i like to watch other artists in their you know drawing and process videos and i saw this one artist use the hatching technique he was saying you shouldn't make the line straight i beg to differ like i <laughs> use straight lines all the time and look at my portraits i think you have to find what works best for you if you want to make the lines curve try that it shows a lot of directional force will really give movement in your portrait or your drawings but hatching technique can do the same as well try different mediums i know it can be a headache just thinking about going to the store buying a bunch of tools just to try them out and you might not even like them or use them ever again well if you're in an environment like if you go to school or you know someone who's in office or if you're in an office it doesn't have to be a material from the art store it could be an office material this material can be found in people's backpacks it could be found just in your drawers you know so try those mediums out i uh, try different paper too i love using watercolor paper for whatever i do and if you have sketch paper do that if you like to try out different surfaces and give it a try when i was younger <laughs> i drew you know all over my wall uh, on my door so I don't recommend doing that I just say that to say that like there's so many different services you can try and draw on if you like drawing with chalk go outside draw on the concrete there's so many things you can do just explore the different options out there don't ever limit yourself as an artist because you're being limited almost every day if you decide to put your artwork out there for the world to see Yes, you're going to get amazing comments, but you're also going to get negative comments. And don't really let that get to you because in this world, it's really you versus you when it comes to what you can do to yourself, with yourself, how to improve yourself as a person and as an artist. There are artists out here making over millions of dollars a year, but if you look at their art, you have a lot more technical skills than what they have. They just have opportunity. They have connections and that's pretty much it honestly like it's a story like their artwork has a story behind it you don't always need a story because i've seen artists out here who really don't have any story to the artwork but they make six figures a year if they can do it you can do it having these skills that i possess is really nice but it also comes with the time you put in practice can be stressful like practicing and just drawing almost every day sketching it's something you love doing but at times it does feel like a job and it feels like oh you know i really just don't want to do it today or i don't want to do it this day just do it uh don't let your emotions dictate what you do in life if you need to do it it needs to be done just get it done like for me recording these videos and staying consistent i've had a problem with consistency for a long time and now i'm just not letting my emotions take over and i just I'm just deciding to, you know, put out content, make content. Even if it's not that great, I still want to put it out so I can just build confidence in myself. Practice, just practice and practice. Don't, it doesn't matter if you make a mistake or you feel like you're not the best. The only way to get there is to keep doing. With this ballpoint pen, I've spent over thousand hours practicing my first year in using this medium it took me a while but it's definitely worth it it doesn't matter if you want to become a full-time artist a part-time artist or just something you just like doing for yourself it's always great to have this muscle memory because this skill is not necessarily something like you acquire and then you just forget all about it or you just don't know how to do it anymore you have that ability you have that ability to draw to impress people to impress yourself to create things for your home to create things for other people. It's really a skill that I don't see many people having out here in this world. To be unique is to have an amazing technical skills as an artist. Honestly, I love using cheap materials because I like just showing people that I can take this mechanical pencil and create this amazing portrait. I actually made a good amount of money just with commissions from mechanical pencil and not necessarily like the best drawing pencils out there. And this is why I say like technical skills 
are super, super important. Your material, the cheap ones, the expensive ones, if you can create amazing portraits with that or amazing drawings with that, you're great, you're set, you know? I'm just here to tell you that you don't need the best of the best art tools. You don't need to spend over $700 on art supplies just for art school, you know? You as an artist, your gift lies within your hand. Everything is within your hand and not the tool that you need. Don't get me wrong though, there are some mediums and I'm sure there are some ballpoint pens that are way better than this cheap pen. Like this pen probably costs like a few cents to make. There are tools that can really improve your drawings, but for me, I'm cool with just using this ballpoint pen. I've used other pens and I still will try out other pens, but I mean, look at what I can make now with just this thing right here. I really hope you all got something out of this video because I just want to put out content and have so many different ideas and it's hard to narrow just like one thing down. So I will be making a lot more beginner friendly content like about how to draw straight hair, uh, how to hatch, you know, hatching 101, more about ballpoint pens, more about just drawing in general, about paper. So if you have any ideas, and if you want me to cover something, please put it in the comments. Thank you for watching.